So now we have both the equations for line segment AB and the parabola BC. Now we need to spin these shapes around the Y axis. I'm gonna spin this line segment AB around the entire Y axis. I'll show you what that looks like right here. Y. So let's just say B is right here, which is 4, 4, and A is right here, which is 3.50. The shape would look somewhat like this. That's the shape if you look closely here. But when I spin it around the Y axis, it's going to look somewhere like this. Let's just say come around like that. Over here. So what we're doing is we're finding the volume of all this area. All of it. All this area. Because this will become the shape it will make the transcated cone. To find the volume of a transcated cone, you use the formula V1 equal to pi A B uh, F of Y1 square D of Y. Okay. If you look closely, this kind of reminds you of the formula of a cylinder, which would be the volume of a cylinder would be V equals pi r squared times the height. But this is a transcated cone. In this case, the equation is different. So I'm going to start plugging in for these letters. V1 to pi. From A to B, because it's from point A to point B, where we're using the y's, which is from 0 to 4. 0, 4 f of y1, which is y1, y is always, f of x, f of y is always equal to x, which is right here. I have this equation over here. I'm going to write that down. y plus 3.5. Remember, it's all square. So y. Now, I'm going to change this 3.5 into a fraction, so that makes everything easier. It's so equal to pi. 0 to 4, 1 eighth y plus 3.5, which is 7 over 2. Remember, this is all square. Here's y. So now I'm going to plug in this square, and I'm going to square the whole equation. By ex I'm expanding it. Pi, 0 to 4. If you square y, 1 eighth y, you have y squared over 64. If you do 2ab, which is always 2 times the first and the second, you get 7, sorry, plus 7 over 8y. And you square the last one, which is plus 49 over 4. I already plugged in the square, so I don't need that anymore. So that's d of y. Let's bring that down one more time. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to integrate for y. So for the first one, that would be what we I need to bring this down first, of course. Can't leave this out. Oops, this is ring. I've been oh, this wrong. Sorry, let me it's on here. Over here. So now I'm going to integrate for y, which is equal to pi. Since I'm integrating for y, from 0, 4 is not going to be here anymore. It's going to come onto this side because I'm already integrating. So this leaves the picture. So this will look like y cubed over 192 plus, I'm going to integrate right here, 7 
over 16y squared plus, I'm going to integrate for 49 over 4, and that becomes 49 over 4 times y. from zero to four, four of course. Now I'm gonna plug in for zero and four. Gotta bring pi down because it's still there. If I plug in four cube over 192 plus seven over 16, four square plus 49 over 4 times 4. This is from 0 to 4. I'm not going to draw, I'm not going to write down 0 because obviously if you plug in for 0, the whole equation will equal 0, so we're only going to plug in for 4 here. So let's plug those in. So 4 cubed is equal to 64 over 192. 4 squared is 16, so this and this will cancel out, and it's just going to be 7. So this is plus 7. Again here, 4 and 4 cancel out, so this is just going to be 49. Now, I have to plug in pi. Well, first I'm going to add this and then plug in for pi. So if you add this all together, we get, well, of course, it's pi times six and 64 over 192. Now I'm going to multiply this by pi. The answer I get is 177 centimeters cubed.